Aloha, ladies and gentlemen. This is the surgeon here, bringing you a StarCraft II commentary. This will be a match from MLG Dallas National Championships. Our players are the Red Protoss, spawning in the 9 o'clock main on Lost Temple, EG in control, and in the 12 o'clock main on Lost Temple, we have Liquid Nazgul. So this match is from the loser's bracket, round eight of MLG Dallas. And I like to say one thing about this uh, round eight in the loser's bracket, and that is, if the winner of this match in the loser's bracket will have to play nine more rounds to get to the finals, the grand finals, okay? They have to beat nine more people. In comparison, the winner's bracket finalists will only have to win six games to get to the grand finals so there's a pretty pretty big discrepancy if you lose and get into the losers bracket so props to whoever comes out of the winners bracket and more props to the losers bracket winner a little bit about these two teams as this probe is picking away at the pylon I'll remember that liquid Nazgul will be the blue protoss and the red protoss will be eg in control so these are the two biggest uh, clans that are represented at MLG Dallas. I wanted to give a rundown of the teams, their players, you know, what what is at stake here for them. As I did cast the Liquid Jinro's uh, finals of the winner's bracket versus Pain User, and this will be uh, Liquid Nazgul, his teammate, playing against uh, evil geniuses in control. So, pylon after gateway for Liquid Nazgul, and same for in control. So nothing fishy. Almost identical builds from both. So let's go over the L Team Liquid's team roster for all of you who are not really, you know, big researchers on StarCraft 2 teams. You know, if you want to get into the gaming a little bit more, you know, get into the scenes, you can pick up on, you can go down to teamliquid.net or Liquidpedia for StarCraft 2, and you can look at all these stats and all these players and all the history, the lore, you know. That's the one big thing that will be coming, that people will find, find out about, and then they will hopefully fall in love with the game as much as I have and a lot of the StarCraft community has. Because it is very community driven. Uh, soon, hopefully, we'll get some sponsorships to be able to run a full-fledged uh, pro circuit in the United States. That's my hope. That's my goal. That's why I've been casting. So we still have a scout of pro for in control in the blue Protoss's base. Uh, second gateway is going down for both players. So Chrono boost for in control on his gateway to get out that first stalker. Uh, and two stalkers queued up for uh, Nazgul. So let's go down the Li Team Liquid roster. I'm just going to read it off real quick. We have Nazgul, he will be the captain. We have Tyler, TLO, also known as the little one. We have Jinro, we have Heypro, we have Rhett, and we have Hook. These are all great players. They're all. I think um, I would have to say all of the Team Liquid is represented. Every single player here is at uh, MLG Dallas. I'm not quite sure about Team EG, but let me run down Team Evil Genius's lineup. We have Machine. I know he came to MLG. We have Strife Crow. We have In Control, who is playing in this game. We have Idra, the infamous, I'd have to say infamous Zerg. We have LZ Gamer. We have Inca, we have Colby, and we have Axlav. So that was Team Evil Geniuses, also known as Team EG. Okay, so here we have an early uh, stalker push. Three against two stalkers and a zealot for in control. Just uh, posturing right now between the two players. See where the build order differs. Warp Gate almost finished for Nazgul in control, Krona boosting out that Warp Gate and will be done soon. Three gateways for each player.
Nazgul retreats back to his uh, natural expansion and will be throwing down a nexus. He does have 400 minerals. Robo Bay going down for in control. Let's see what this. If he decides to get out some immortals and put some pressure on Nazgul as he did set up this expansion. So he has a nice concave, so any incoming attacks will be. He will be in advantage. As well as he has sentries out to throw down some even more funneling uh, force fields. Uh, then we have Nazgul taking the watchtower. He picks off a probe, a scouting probe, from In Control, and he will be pushing in towards the natural of In Control, but In Control with five uh, stalkers, and will be pushing back. So In Control with the five stalkers, getting off those first couple pop shots, and will be look just touching the watchtower to see anything, any units on the field, but nothing there. So he will be pushing back into his base. Now we have Nazgul pushing out with a five, a nice force of five stalkers, four sentries and a zealot. He will be taking control of the Zell Naga tower between the two players mains. We have a observer coming from in control and we have a twilight council going down for Nazgul. So no robo facility for Nazgul. But he does have that this expansion. So if he can continue to macro well and and play defense, you know, put this posturing that he has a big army out, he will be able to take the lead into the mid and late game, as there is no no expansion in sight for in control. I feel in control is playing a little bit scared here, not pushing onto the field, not trying to see, not trying to size up the army, and that's a big part of StarCraft is knowing what your opponent has. So, but he does have the observer out, so he will see that there is no robo facility out for in, uh, for Nazgul, and he did put down an expansion, so he knows he has to push now. If he does not do damage, economic damage now, this will be GG into the end game. As long as there's no crucial mistakes from Nazgul, Nazgul at the watchtower gonna be throwing a proxy pylon. Ooh, good job by In Control not to lose that probe as. Every pro right now is crucial for him because he is behind economically. He's going to try to push him with his army, but Nazgul just posturing and showing who's boss. Ooh, the Colossus is out. Did not see the robotics bay, but we do have the Colossus on the field or in control. No thermal lance. We'll be hitting force field, but not too many. Oh, the Zealous did get caught up at the force field and. Nazgul picking up a lot of damage from in control army. Let's go to army tab. We need to see the units. It's got 10 stalkers for Nazgul, 9 stalkers for in control, as well as that Colossus. Colossus going up with the entire down, saving with 28 HP. Nazgul fighting, focusing down these um, stalkers from in control, doing a very good job. Blink is out. Blink is on the field. Let's see what kind of blink Nazgul can do. He has written a lot on the Blink Micro from Support Stalkers on TeamWinkle.net. So check out those forms. Going to close up now, he knows he can't, uh, he cannot engage with this army with the number of Stalkers he has left. But now that he does that, he's walking in more Stalkers, Blink Micro going down, he's trying to take, he does, how does he have vision up here? He doesn't have a, he does not have a, Observatory on the field, but he didn't have vision with the Colossus on the high ground. I'm not sure if that's a glitch or if massive units can be seen if they're shooting from a ledge. We have in control going up into the base of Nazgul. Probes coming off the line. Five warp gates warping in. Zealots for Nazgul in control pulling back only on one base, no expansion yet. So Nazgul still ahead with the probe count, but had to pull off probes to defend. Nazgul with getting the stalker picks off as he retreats back into the main. The, the natural expansion for Nazgul is just very exposed right now. The control does have the proxy pylon, so he will be reinforcing quite close to the base. That is a, one of the new features of StarCraft 2 that Protoss have been taking advantage of is the proxy pylon. As you can see, they can reinforce basically anywhere. Nazgul with the engine in the bank, so he can maybe defend this and hold his economic lead, although in control is all in, he still hasn't thrown him down his expansion. 
Nazgul with five stalkers, now seven stalkers with blink against in control who has no blink and only about 11 stalkers on the field. Probes coming off the line for Nazgul. This is action packed. In control, not stopping with the pressure. We love this kind of play from the in control. One base style push versus a macro style defensive player. If you distract the player enough, you know, their APM cannot keep up and the macro with probes will just lack and you will win in the end. So in control coming in with the uh, 11 stalkers against and a Colossus on the field. No thermal lands yet. Nazgul GG's as he realizes he cannot take down the Stalkers. This was game one between Nazgul and in control of a best of three in the losers bracket of MLG Dallas. Let's move on to game two. Thank you for watching.